Hello, I'm the Budget Modder and this is episode 8 of my Airfix 172nd Shackleton AEW 2 build. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That would be brilliant. Thank you. To begin this episode, we're taking the tail wheel strut and gluing the wheels to it. We'll be using super glue as it gives a good, strong, solid bond. So, without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. That's the wheels glued on. That was quick and painless, wasn't it? Next up, we're going to be cleaning up the big aerial that sits on top of the fuselage. I'll warn you now, a bit of foreshadowing. Either later on in this episode or in the next one, I'm going to be having a right rant at airfix for this. Anywho, I digress. Let's crack on with the cleaning up of this aerial. That's the aerial prepped and ready for priming. That's so I can spot what I missed on the first cleanup. Now for the decals on the prop tips. Firstly, let's cut those decals out. There we go, that's the decals cut out. Next, we'll get set up and start with the decal. I'm using Microsec for placing the decals and setting them in place. Then we'll use my homebrew decal solvent to get them sorted and stuck properly. So, let's crack on with that. As you can see, I was having an absolute mare with these decals. I just couldn't get them lined up. That was 15 minutes to do one whole propeller. So I decided to spray the colors on. First thing was to measure the decal so I can mark on the prop how long the white needs to be. So let's crack on with that. There we go, that's measured. That took longer than it should. My eyes are terrible, even with my glasses. Anywho, I got them measured, so it's time to set up the micrometer and mark the props on both sides to show where I need to put the masking tape. So, shall we get that cracked? That's all the props marked up to 6mm. Now to mask them off, so here we go.
there we have the first part of the prop masking. We'll come back to those later. Next up, we'll be gluing this bulbous radar and other bits onto the fuselage. So let's crack on with that, shall we? we have those two parts glued in place. Next up, I forgot to put the recess in to fit this part. So I cut the tab off, popped it roughly where I thought it should go. So let's get that bit done. we have those parts glued in place. Next up we're going to clean up the roots on themselves. Firstly we're going to wipe the wings down with a piece of kitchen paper. This just takes off any bits of paint that's stuck to the initial priming. Then we're going to knock the roots back and then we're going to reprime them to see if they're ready. So here we go with that. Right, that's those ready. What we're going to do is give them a reprime and see if there's anywhere that still needs sorting out. Next, we're going to carry on masking up the props. When I prime these, I'll reprime them in black. This will hopefully stop any bleed through of the white. So let's get these finished off and mashed up. There we go, that's the props, all mashed up, ready for their coat of white. Next up, we'll be cleaning up the nacelle roots, again. Here we go with those, again. As I'm cleaning up, I'm also rescribing panel lines on the engine covers.
that's the engine covers done on the wings. Now onto the fuselage. I made a right cock up there on that panel line. What I'm going to do is pop some sprue glue on there, leave it to dry and come back to it. In the meantime, let's get some more panel lines done, shall we? I've got to say, this is one of my weak parts of modelling. I want it done now, straight away, get in there. I've got to learn patience, slowly, slowly, and it will come. There we have all the panel lines described. We'll come back to that in a bit. Just to double check and make sure I'm, re I'm really, really happy with those. If not, we'll just have to sprue glue it and rescribe them. And again, I've cocked up. I think I filled in the holes for this part. Oh well, another glue and hope. Here we go with this. the aerial glued in place. Hopefully the right place. Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end, so thank you for watching episode 8. If you want to see what happens in episode 9, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling. <laughs>